from January. January uh, to April. January to April yes. of the year 2020? 2020. 2020. 2022. 2022. Yes. January to April 2022. Mm. You know, some we are going to put you on oath. Shall it be, remember? Clark, can you the necessary instruments this is a witness we must put under oath because if this is a forgery then we have no business going on with these proceedings what we need then is a forensic audit of the nairobi city county assembly and the first person who should go to jail is a person who impersonated you if indeed it was an impersonation so sami tell us with precision when were you interdicted I thought those are dates that uh, you you remember easily, unless you are in the habit of being interdicted. <laughs> Sami, we don't have all day, please. When were you interdicted? Is it January? To January, April? January 2022 to uh, to April 2022. And we are discussing the financial year 2020. 2021 yes which ended on 30th of june 2021 and you can see they were signed on 7th february 2022 wait a minute you are supposed to prepare your financial statements three months after the closure of financial year auditor general is that the case that is true chair so that would have been 30th september 2021 were you in office by 30th September 2021. Yes, Chairman. So, what was your responsibility? Were you still the principal? Uh, were you still the principal accountant of the county assembly as at 30th September 2021? Chair, at the time of audit, the responsibility was given to another staff, not myself. But who, who was a substantive? Who was being paid a salary to be the principal accountant? I myself. It was you. Yes. You are earning a salary to be the principal accountant. Yes, but the responsibility to finalize the financial report or was bestowed on another another staff. Um, so why were you earning a salary if you are not doing what you are supposed to be doing? Chair, this one one uh, part of what I do within my responsibilities, not all assembly. So, were you interdicted or you derelicted duty? There is interdiction and there is dereliction. I was interdicted, Chair. Yeah. You were interdicted in 2022. You are supposed to have reported in 2021. Auditor General, when did you go to, this, to, to the client? When did you go to the ground? You are supposed to go after presentation of the financial statements, isn't it? After September. Chair. Yeah. The audits took place between the month of October 2021 to the month of December 2021. However, correspondences, including response to the management letter, response to the draft audit report, extended beyond 2021. And in the process of response to those, uh, the management letter and draft report, they revised the financial statements and that is why you can see the revised financial statement is signed on 7th february 2022 thank you chair auditor general you must stay faithful to the audit act why do you come and tell us the client revised their financial statements if that is the case then do an opinion on the revised financial statements why are you asking us to consider an opinion on the original financial statements? That should not come from you. How can they revise their financial statements in February? And then you as the Auditor General come and tell us, you know, they revised on 7th. What, what, what are we saying? What were you doing? 
when you went on site within the constitutionally uh, stipulated timelines? Thank you, Chair. Maybe to take it back, the client submits financial statements by 30th September 2021. So the audit commences and the audit process continues until the final report is signed. So during the audit process, the client can revise the financial statements. For example, at this stage, if they were issued with the draft audit report, say in December, by the time they responded, they responded with the revised financial statements that becomes the basis of the opinion, and that is the final financial statement that the opinion is based on. Your opinion is based on which financial statements? The original or the revised? The revised chair. The revised. This one. And in the revised financial statement, the seven and extras were still missing. They were still missing, chair. And their and signature of Sami, the name of Sami Dana, was still in the, in the report. Yes, chair. And signed for. Yes, Chair. So, okay, because I thought I thought you were trying to say that uh, there was another financial statement, because there we would not have agreed. So this is your opinion on the revised financial statement. Yes, Chair. The last one that the financial the the accounting officer submitted and owned, which came out on seventh of February. Seventh of February, twenty twenty. When Sami was supposed to have been on interdiction, we are yet to see that letter. So if the revised had such glaring inaccuracies, what about the original? Chair, yeah, the original will be worse. Uh, and ordinarily why we give the management an opportunity to revise the financial statements is because when we commence the audit, we raise so many issues. And during the process of audit, they'll make corrections, they'll make adjustments when the auditors uh, are on the ground. We give, them, we, give them, we give them an opportunity to revise the financial statement after they respond to the management letter. When we issue the draft report, we also give them an opportunity to revise the financial statement and give us the final copy that is now certified. So, Chair, there are three chances for the client to make adjustments to the financial statement before we issue the final certificate. So they had an opportunity which they did not use. Thank you, Chair. Um, speaker, you see why I'm frustrated? That you had an opportunity to revise your financial statement. And even within that revision, it even came out worse. Because what we are dealing with is revised, not even the first one. But what we must deal with is this uh, Samindana issue. If these statements were not prepared by a member of the Institute of the Certified Public Accountants, then whatever we have before us is null and void. And if that is the case, then we should be asking for the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission to carry out a forensic audit of Nairobi City County Assembly. And I wish that the County Assembly Park had already uh, gone through these issues so that uh, our recommendations could be in line. But Speaker Clark, I will not proceed to interrogate a report where the professional who is supposed to certify them has already disowned them. Where is the guy? Where is the guy we have said should be here? Um, uh, Clark, administer the oath on that gentleman. Chair, Sami has not asked, uh, answered the question of uh, the current office you are holding. What is your position currently? The principal, the principal ad, ad, administer the, the oath on these two guys. I, Moses Itonga, I solemnly swear that uh, the evidence that I shall give before this committee, uh, respect of matters before the committee, shall be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help me God. 
Next, Sami, Dana. Hi, Sami, Dana. I do solemnly swear that the evidence that I shall give before this committee in respect of the matters before the committee shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help in God. Okay, so uh, Moses Gitonga, please uh, just take the uh, the mic. Tell us what you do at Nairobi City County. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. My name is Moses Gitonga Jeru. Uh, I'm an accountant and a member of WISPAC. What is your role, what is your official um, designation in the county assembly? Uh, my designation is I'm um, reporting section where I see the principal accountant in preparation of financial statements, so you are, among other jobs. You are principal accountant? No, I'm saying that I assist. What is your title? Accountant 2. Accountant? 2. Accountant 2. Are you a member of ISPAC? Yes, I am, Mr. Chair. What is your membership number? I can't recall often. <laughs> Once again, I'll ask you, are you a member of ISPAC? Yes, Mr. Chair, I am. How much time do you need us to give you to get your membership number? A day. Why one day? Or even before the end of this session, I can provide my number. No, Isn't there a register of members? And, and uh, Sami? No. Uh, so this, is this Sami or this is Moses? This is Gitonga. Yes. Uh, please be very careful with the manner in which you are proceeding. Yes, Mr. Chair. And we are not going to take any conduct, any conduct that will be contemptuous to this house. We have uh, very serious powers, including finding you on the spot. So be very careful. No, sir, Mr. Chair. If you are a member of ISPAC, isn't there a register of members that is electronic? Yes, there is. And online? Yes. If you go to the website, are you able to uh, retrieve it? Even if you can see, they can check for you. Yes. Uh, yeah. uh, can you get us your membership number before we confirm that you are a member of the institute? Mr. Chair. Chair, could I, could I just a minute? Why are you looking at the, What's your ID number? 223. Yes. 592. Yes. 14. What's your ISPAC number? It is start with one that why do you have to go to the phone i don't want to, to just uh, give them uh, uh, mm. why do you want to go to the phone just confirm first confirm your ispac number and that is your professional number you see when i asked you about your birth your your id you've just given it to me you see what i'm saying yes it means i can't trust what you're telling me Mr. Chair, I can give my number, then it can be confirmed. But okay. I'm a member of his back here. Now, um, Moses Gitonga, uh, Clark, you've got an electronic gadget because next time he's going to say he does not have bundles. Um, just go to the ISPAC website. Where were you going to conf confirm it from? I'm just having a seat here, then I check. No, no, no. <laughs> can you confirm it electronically? I have some certificates in my in my email. Where there is a members register online. I can also Does your there. name appear on the members register for ISPAC? Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay, Clark, just provision him with a, a, a phone or a tablet. Go to the website and let's search for that ID number for Moses Gitonga Ngene. Go to that interface uh, of his back. You can check the number. Moses Gitonga, where, where are you taking that laptop? I'm getting to your website. I want to be shown to the website. Okay, I will give you one minute. In that one minute, uh, the visiting delegation from the Kingdom of Iswatini, I wish to thank you for your patience. Uh, it is a rather embarrassing day. 
but that is a work of oversight. Uh, in fact, if it is not embarrassing, then maybe you are not doing something right. If it was just praise and worship and hallelujah, then uh, <laughs> that, that would show that we have abdicated our duty. But um, these, uh, uh, these, these, these are some of the challenges we are facing in our system of governance, that county governments are fairly young. But being young, they think that they can manage public resources as if they were private resources. So it is our duty to ensure that the standards, the laws and regulations apply without fear or favor. So uh, I don't know whether, Maurice, there'll be an opportunity later on before the delegation uh, moves to Uganda for us to do a recap. Um, I know you, you, are, you are generally generous, but mean at the same time because you, are, you work for the Auditor General. If you can organize a cocktail or a recap evening, uh, then we can share a lot of reflections coming from this experience and we can also learn from the, from the delegation. I know you are under pressure to proceed <coughs> to the next meeting and so I will allow you to proceed but also express our gratitude. And please, uh, Deputy Speaker, present our compliments to the Speaker of your House, both the Senate and the other House, and uh, assure them of uh, our regards, and we hope that we'll continue working together between Eswatini and Kenya. Thank you very much, uh, Chair. Uh, we have really learned a lot, and uh, I think based on your availability, we can uh, consult, and then we have uh, some get together where we can then exchange further on this subject. Otherwise, we are very happy to have undergone this session. They have seen for themselves how Kenya handles issues of audit. Thank you. Thank you, Maurice. Uh, the Sergeant Atoms shall guide the delegation quietly as we proceed. Uh, speaker, I will grant you a short leave, but because the, the board is here, the clerk is here, uh, we shall proceed. Uh, just just don't stay out for too long. I, I think five minutes uh, is more than enough. We come back to Moses Gitonga. <coughs> What's your membership number? Uh, Mr. Chair, my membership number is 13814. 13814. Can you confirm that you are the one who signed the financial statements for Nairobi City County Assembly for the financial year ended 30th June 2021. Yes, Mr. Chair, I signed for principal accountant. Why did you sign for principal accountant and not on your own behalf as a professional? Uh, Mr. Chair, as uh, Mr. Speaker said earlier, during that year the review, we had some issues in the institution. Initially, what happens, uh, being a junior office accountant too, I usually prepare, just prepare the ledgers and give them to principal accountant for the preparation and the review of financial statement. But during that given period, after the principal accountant prepared the financial statement, midway, it was interdicted as in area, and then there was an issue of compliance in which the responses and the preparation of financial statement they were supposed to be done. And that's why I came in, Mr. Chair. Did you have the uh, capacity to sign these financial statements as a professional? Yes, Mr. Chair, being a member of ISPAC, yes, I was. Did you have the functional capacity to sign these financial statements? You could have a driver who's a member of the institute. Uh, does that driver then have the functional capacity to sign financial statements? Mr. Chair, being in the reporting section, I can't lie to this committee that if or if not, I was, I was supposed to sign the financial statement, but being a member of this park, give me that three to sign for, for the principal. I account. have given you the illustration. Mm -hmm. You are a driver. Yes. And you've got, you are a member of this park. Can you sign the financial statements because the substantive office holder is interdicted? Uh, Mr. Chair, if the mandates are not followed on me, I'm not supposed to sign. So did you have the functional uh, power to sign this financial statements? For the power, Mr. Chair, no, but the, for the function, no. I can sign the financial statement being the member of ISPAC. Why then didn't you append your membership number? Because appending the number 
is uh, assigning professional responsibility. You have spoken about yourself being uh, a highly vaunted member of the institution. Why didn't you then put your professional number? It's true, Mr. Chair. I did not indicate my number. As I said earlier, uh, there was issue of compliance, and the principal accountant whom I report to left some days before this document was submitted to the Auditor General. And being the member of ISPAC, I was guided to sign for those documents to be submitted to the Auditor General. In your view, yeah. who should take responsibility for the accuracies or inaccuracies mm. of this financial statement? Who should take professional responsibility? I think it is the office okay. of the principal accountant. The, the, there is professional responsibility. The ISPAC number is not assigned to an office. It is sign, assigned to an individual. So which professional should take responsibility for this financial statement? As per the financial statement, it is Samindana. Because who, the number is who, who, was, who was on interdiction? Yes. Did Samindana sign this financial statement? He did not sign. Are you trying to set up Samindana? No, Mr. Chair, I'm not setting him because you have the document with you and the number is there. So it will be sound. So you yeah, signed this financial statement on as behalf. a professional, then you are saying the person to carry the cross is Samindana. What are you trying to tell us? You think this is a high school disciplinary committee? No, Mr. Chair. Senator Onyoko. Chair, uh, my brother, I want to ask you. You signed on behalf of Mr. Nana, right? Yes. Who yes. told you to do that? Uh, this document, as who I told said, you, uh, who told, told you? you to do that? It was the acting principal accountant then. Who was then? Mention his name. She is Aris Kaoga, who is not here. What did she tell you to do? I didn't ask you to tell me whether she's here now, or not. Uh, Mr. Chair, this is what happened, as I said earlier. It was an issue Wait of... Wait a minute, uh, Moses. There was an acting principal accountant. accountant. So the principal accountant is on interdiction. There is an acting principal accountant. Yes. Why couldn't they sign? She was not a member of this pack, and that's the issue. And the name is? Alice. Alice who? Kaoga. Is so, Alice still in the county assembly? Yes, is chair. Alice is still a staff in the county assembly of Nairobi. Is Alice here? No, it's not here. What is the qualification to be a principal accountant? Uh, you must be a member of ISPAC. And you are from in a position whose requirements you do not possess. Uh, of course, you 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 cannot be allowed to act. Because if position. anyone was to act, then it should have been this gentleman to act since he was the one who was uh, certified. Anyway, continue. So the last question I wanted to ask you, yes, you took these documents and signed them on behalf of Mr. Ndana. Mr. Ndana was at home, and then you have brought these documents here. Explain to me as a senator, what do I assume? What did you do? In a very simple way. Now, uh, Mr. Chairman, in preparation of financial statement, it is a process. Uh, initially, in the Rob County Assembly, we use manual rangers. Uh -uh. Don't go to the software. You signed this thing behalf of Mr. Dan. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, okay, and now, should we accept them as documents which are correctly deposed with us, or can I make an assumption that this was just an exercise of fraud? Mr. Chair, it was not an exercise of fraud. As I said earlier, those financial statements they were prepared by a team, and I can confirm. Do you have a letter from the lady who told you to sign on behalf ask me to sign? No, because... Okay. Thank you. My question is still there. Senator Maria Muma. Uh, Chair, I think the accountant, uh, he don't know his role as an accountant. Because if you are doing with, uh, if you are working on these crucial documents as a financial statement, is it ethical to sign for somebody on behalf of a person as a professional body, as an accountant? Uh, Mr. Chair, I can't lie on that. I'm not sure. If I'm not supposed to sign for. Are you, as you are saying, you are CPA? Yes, I am. ISPAC. Yes. Is it ethical to sign for? Uh, as I said earlier, Mr. Chair, uh, 
I am not sure. I can't see if, if yeah. it's true. Chair, yeah. yeah. yeah, that's but a professional question. It's a professional uh, uh, question. That's a professional question, and I think the way they should be able to answer. I'm an also. accountant also. <laughs> I'm a CPA like you. Right, Is it yeah. ethical to sign for any finance document, financial document, yeah. on behalf of somebody? Yes, you can sign some documents if you are in that given office. If you have the, the, the role, yeah, you have money too. Are you having the mandate of the principal accountant? Mr. Chair, when I come back, what the chairman said earlier, it was the matter yes of Yes or no? No. Then, then uh, Chair, on that scenario, uh, I, I cannot remember his name. Moses. Moses. Moses, maybe go back to school to know of ethical, of the ethical standard of accountant because you are not supposed to sign any financial any document money monetary issues to sign on behalf of somebody so uh, on my conclusion is this a forgery uh, mr chair as i said earlier it is not a forgery it was not a forgery why you contradict yourself because this is a forgery you sign on behalf of what is forgery mr chair uh, if you can allow me to explain a bit what uh, the chairman asked me earlier. What is a forgery? It's just uh, presenting a document which, does not, uh, which is not real, it's fake. What is uh, signing on behalf of somebody? Where do we put it? That's why, Mr. Chair. Where, where we classify it as a forgery or what? I can say it is not a uh, forgery, it was an functional issue which had to comply. So, so, so uh, chair, very quickly. So, in other words, Moses Gitonga, you are acting on delegates and powers. Yes, Mr. Chair. And you and Tobe, you are both. Yes, Mr. Chair. Who also happens to be not a member of the East Park. If I was not a member of East Park, I could not be told my boss to sign those documents. So, you are both who happen not to be a member of East Park. Yes. Are you? But you said it was not in writing. The instructions to sign this financial statement. Mr. Chair, are they letting our verbal the way they It was not in writing because I was in the reporting section, so you saw the deal person in that those documents are supposed to so be. So you signed. felt promoted. You felt <laughs> I just I found the instruction from my boss then so that those financial statements can be relevant. It was just to tick a box, not to fulfill your professional uh, responsibility. No, Mr. Chair, because I, I was also involved in the process of preparation of financial statement through preparation of rangers. Are you familiar with the reporting requirements under the Section 164 of the PFM Act on who prepares financial statements? If I'm not wrong, uh, Mr. Chair, it is the accounting officer. Who was the accounting officer during that period? It was uh, Castro Otieno. Castro Otieno? Yes. He was, was, in, that, he was, was in that office in a substantive role? or in, a, in an acting role? He was acting by then because of the issues which had in the assembly. Mr. Clark, if you are an acting clerk and the assembly processes an impeachment motion, are you able to convey that impeachment motion to the Senate as an acting clerk? No, Chair. It has been tested, yeah. and I believe that uh, what, the what the speaker is, what the clerk is saying, is the fact in law. The deputy governor of Kisi cannot be replaced. The writs cannot be issued because you don't have the chair of a commission. There are limitations to the functions and powers of someone in an acting capacity, be it the acting principal accountant, be it an acting clerk. There are serious limitations. And uh, those of, who have been there, when you are processing the impeachment of the Nairobi governor, that is when you brought back this man and made him a substantive clerk so that he could convey the message to the Senate. And then you can fire him later. <laughs> yeah? So... Uh, members, uh, Speaker, and you will, I think you need to sympathize with me. I was of the view that we needed to process this report, but we cannot process a report that on the surface of it is a forgery. 
we are not going to process a financial statement that was not signed by the person who is mandated to sign it. Responsibility. We are not, uh, you know, there are so many irregularities that have come up. So, Sami is interdicted. Alice is appointed in acting capacity. Alice does not have the qualification. Then Alice goes and looks for uh, Moses Gitonga because he is the one who does not have a backbone. Then he just comes and signs, purporting to be Sami Ndana. And he comes here on oath and says that the person who should take responsibility for these statements is Sami Ndana and not him. It's a waste of time. This requires a forensic audit. I, I really am concerned about the, 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 the auditor. Did, did you at any given time try to win through what the chair is uh, concerned about? OEG? Okay. Because you have not captured anything that you have mentioned about some of these uh, unprofessional uh, irregularities that are before us now. OEG? Thank you, Member. Uh, the responsibility of uh, submitting the financial statement is vested with the accounting officer. And therefore, when these financial statements are presented to the Auditor General, the general understanding is that all this, even signing for, the authority for somebody to sign for has been granted in line with the law. Thank you, Chair. Uh, Chair, could I ask the uh, OEG, could I make a very simple request? And I really need your advice on this. Given what we are going through since morning, would I be wrong if I demanded that we actually make a recommendation that we have all these four years for the Nairobi County Assembly to have a forensic audit which is done professionally for the simple reason that anybody or people who might be culpable, then they will directly be held responsible as soon as the audit is finished within a period of time. Uh, thank you through the chair. Indeed, it is worrying that the verdict is adverse over these years. And given the gov governance challenges that were being experienced over those years and the lapse in terms of uh, preparation of the financial statements, uh, then that will be the most appropriate scene. Thank you, sir. Uh, chair. For me, uh, I rest my case. I don't think there's anything much you're doing here. Okay, uh, uh, Gitonga, you can, uh, uh, before you take your seat, you gave us your membership number. Yes, uh, Mr. Uh, is, is your membership current? Uh, I think um, there is uh, uh, one year backlog, but uh, I've been is your, is, So if there's a backlog, are you a member of the institute? Yes, I am a member. Moses Gitonga, are you a member, you're a member of the institute, but are you a member in good standing? No. And what does that mean? Uh, this is as we speak for this current year, but previously up to that period, I was in good standing. But currently, no, I'm not in good standing. So when were you in last? When were you last in good standing? Uh, from last year, it's only this year. And what what is your f role in the in the assembly right now? I just, uh, as I said, that is that uh, my job is more of a clerical preparing the rangers 
Then, if I want to principal accountant for a clerical preparing ledgers, you yes. end up signing financial statements. Speaker, you're running a joke. You're not running an institution. And um, I hope that from here, you're going to go back and sit with your board. And you're going to demand the clerk to explain to you the measures he's taking to professionalize the running of Nairobi City County Assembly. You must put in place a proper structure. You must put in place a bureaucracy. I know you're a politician. Yes, you guys are doing your politics right or wrong from whichever perspective one looks at it. But the bureaucracy must be in place as per the PFM Act and as per the PFM regulations. Um, this perhaps could have been the situation in that financial year. But listening to this young man, I feel like there's still a problem. You must clean that house. Clark, are you act acting or substantive? Thank you, Chair. Um, substantive. You're substantive. Correct. So you have a substantive, Clark. You have a substantive speaker. Is there any problem? Is there any th limitation that... Um, um, that uh, would stop you from uh, putting in place a proper uh, staff establishment, a professional structure, a proper bureaucracy, particularly in financial management. Speaker, as a chair of the board, do, do you foresee any, any problem? Chairman, it is true that uh, we are going through a lot because uh, coming from the second assembly, which was actually not in place by then, because I say it was not in place because it was non-functional for a period of close to three years. And uh, there are several things which happened out of political uh, differences that you find most of the people occupying these offices, one, either on acting capacity or they really don't qualify. But they have been holding these positions for a period of time, maybe two years. So scaling them down is also another issue altogether. So, uh, How is your management committee? Who, who are the members of the management committee? And uh, what is their status? Uh, Moses, you can, you can uh, maybe take a seat. I'll call you back when we need you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Because the management committee, uh, Clark, Thank you, Chair. The managed committee uh, is composed of directors. Just, just name them. I just list the f the functions. The first one is a clerk. The first one, the clerk, which is substantive. Uh, deputy. I have two deputy clerks. One in charge of administration services. The other one in charge of legis legislative services. Are they acting or substantive? Substantive. Mm -hmm. Then I have directors. No, who are, who are okay. substantive? No, no, name them. Uh, uh, we we have a uh, director in charge of financial services. That's substantive? Yes. Mm -hmm. We have a director in charge of legislative services. Substantive? Yes. Mm -hmm. We have a director in charge of information services. Substantive? Correct. Mm -hmm. We have a director in charge of human resource management. Mm -hmm. Substantive? Yes. We have uh, a director in charge of the uh, speaker's office. Speaker's office? Yes. Does that sit in the management committee? The it management is committee is defined in law. I thought so. It's an employee. Where do you, where, what was the legal underpinning of the management committee in a county assembly? Mm -hmm. It this, is provided for in law. Yes, this, these are uh, officers who work under the office of the clerk. No, let us go to the legal provision for establishment of the management committee of a county assembly. Legal? It is. Legal? Just uh, read it out it, for it, us. It is, it is in the County Assembly Service Act. Yes, uh, I've got a legal uh, officer who is going to look it up. The reason why I'm asking this question is that if so far all these people are in substantive positions, why can't you effect the necessary organizational uh, changes to make sure that Nairobi City County Assembly is run like a proper institution. 
Thank you, Chair. Uh, arising from the many challenges that have been there before, the, over time, the, I think we have heard about culture, organization culture, which the board is working. Uh, but Chair is almost one year and out the line, almost two years now. I think, you, you know, we can't keep on, uh, you want people like uh, some other quarters where any of the brave is pushed to the, the other previous regime. We, it's almost all two years now. We can't keep on saying, oh, we are disorganized. We were, you know. And, and Nairobi cannot complain of capacity you know, you know, because we, we looking at uh, even the members of the board mm -hmm. and even the, the delegation that is here, I don't think Nairobi County Assembly can complain of lacking capacity. Chair, yeah, the mission here is quite different from, from running the, the, the assembly professional. I think they have a very different mission altogether. The mission is, uh, is quite unique. I've never seen such a confused institution. So we must bring them back to the mission. Yeah, they must that's, come that's, back. That's, yeah. that's our mandate. As no, as we are supposed to be an example. Other counties are supposed to run from you. This is the city. We have been told so many cities are across the world. Look at Kigali, look at any other city around. Nairobi. We are struggling with counties, far from areas in Northeastern. Nairobi, Upper Sasa. I think that summarizes the frustration that we have because we have dealt with 46 other county assemblies and um, we would expect better out of Nairobi, knowing that Nairobi brings together uh, the best of the best. I don't think that you'd have a problem in Nairobi in attracting talent. Um, I've seen other counties where they struggle with attracting talent, but not Nairobi. Uh, but that then should yield results. We should not be hearing someone take the witness stand and on one hand say that he's a junior clerk on the other hand he says he can sign financial statements on one hand says he's a member of the institute on the other hand says he's not in good standing and when you're not in good standing there are only two things it's either professional negligence or professional reasons or lack of subscription or lack of active participation in the affairs of the institute and those are the people who are certifying your financial statements so, uh, okay, sir, who are members of the County Assembly Management Committee? Yes, thank you, Chair. The County Assembly uh, Services Act number 24 of 2019 under Section 28 speaks to the establishment of a management committee. It reads, the board shall establish a committee known as the Management Committee, which shall be responsible for advising the board on matters relating to the functions and powers of the board under Sections 11 and 12. Uh, the management committee shall consist of the clerk, the deputy clerk, the heads of department, and such other officers as the board may determine. Thank you, Chair. Okay, so and such other officers as the board may determine. So maybe that's where the speaker, uh, director speaker's office comes in. But, but from the look of things, everyone is substantive, including the sergeant at arms. I think he's supposed to be part of that. Yeah, that is, 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 the title is director security services. So what is the problem? in establishing a proper institutional structure. Mr. Speaker. Uh, uh, the problem is actually we are picking up the pieces. It's not uh, easy from where we are coming from. We have really been trying, and that's why the board uh, just some time ago advertised some positions so that all the positions become substantive. No, I, I, even the it's position not is not easy. Sort of problem because the management committee, I can see, they are substantive office holders. So, there are some counties where the entire management committee is acting. So decisions cannot be made. Here, yours is, is okay. Everyone is... Uh, yeah, who's the director of finance currently? Sure, I am. What's your name and uh, what's your designation and professional affiliation? Uh, thank you, Chair. My name is Paul Kimani, CPA Paul Kimani. I'm the Director of Financial Services at uh, Nairobi County Assembly. Are you a member of the Institute? Yes, I'm a member of the ISPAC. Are you a member in good standing? Um, currently, Chair, uh, maybe you allow me to confirm, but <laughs> I, <laughs> uh, we, have, we, we are yet to pay these financial year subscriptions. For, the, for our contents. Mr. Speaker, would you be represented by an advocate who is not in good standing? Uh, it should not be the case. Um, uh, sorry, the, the name was? Uh, Chair, Paul Kimani. Paul Kimani? Yes, Chair. 
What do you make of this conversation between um, Moses and um, and um, and and Sami as a boss <coughs> of finance? Um, Chair, uh, maybe what uh, we can confirm is that uh, in the reporting period, indeed there was a lapse, uh, and that's why we are finding ourselves in this situation. Uh, where we don't know who was to sign for the financial statements. Uh, but currently, Chair, I can confirm that uh, as a mitigating factor, we've already uh, set up uh, the structural uh, departmental. Um, we have established respective people who do what they're supposed to be doing. And so currently, we can confirm that uh, we have now started putting up uh, measures to improve on those areas that we had challenges on. Were you in the assembly in that financial year? Yes, I was chair. What role were you playing? Uh, chair, interestingly, also, I was suspended the period. No, but I was, there, I was, you, you I was the director of financial services, yes. but I was not uh, in the office by then. Where you also had an interdiction? Um, not interdiction, per se, but uh, I, I, I was not acting in the bank, yes. What was the, on what basis? You stole? Um, not chair. Sure. Uh, at that time, it was an issue of the promotions, how they had been done. And so we were, uh, with the current management, we, we, we were told, first of all, to step aside. And we were not functioning in the current position. Were you on contract or you were on a permanent uh, employment? I was on permanent employment. Sure. So what was the date of your suspension? Uh, sure. Maybe you allow me to give uh, the exact dates. Later. It was in which financial year? Uh, that is the financial year. Uh, to, period uh, between 1920 and 2021, that's uh, the whole of 2020 financial year. So you are out for how long? Um, cumulatively, I can say around six, six months, six, six, seven months. You are director of finance? Yes, sir. So Sammy was reporting to you? Yes, sir. Um, there, there's, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, we will not proceed with this session, especially with this fresh revelation because i thought that sami was the the senior most uh, accountant in the institution now it is imagined that there was a director of finance who ought to t have taken responsibility were you a member of the institute at that point in time yes sir, i was and in good standing yes i was why did they choose to sign for sami and not for you um sure. Were they trying to set him up? I, I, I cannot confirm that. Ideally, who should have signed those financial statements if you are in office, if there were no interdictions or suspensions? Which was a functional role that ought to have co-signed with the chief officer, with, with, the, with the accounting officer? Uh, the correct position should have been me. So why did they choose uh, Sami? And not Paul Kimani? Sacrifice your lamp. With some information, at some point, there were promotions that were done, and during this time of the uh, period under review, some of these officers were demoted as a result of a decision made by a committee of the assembly. So, meaning they reverted back to their previous position, and probably that's why he could not able to exercise. The, 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 the his mandate as a director of financial services, but, but it, it was subsequently collected. Your, this county requires an investigator, not a political uh, committee. This one goes beyond audit. This one requires an investigation. Uh, there are too many things going on there. Are there people uh, who are uh, suspending others and uh, sending others home. Are they here? Who are they? <laughs> but I check it. I told you to declare interest. Now you see the, it's it's coming out. No, 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 chair. I think uh, in the in that time of musical chairs, as I, I alluded to, I was not a spe acting speaker. Maybe they are referring to uh, the acting positions which the clerk should be able to uh, 
mention because he, he was in office, he was out because of court. But I think two issues I need to put in even as you continue. Number one is that during my period in that uh, turbulent period, what we had agreed as a board then was to at least stabilize the Department of Accounts so that we don't have this mess. And so maybe the clerk also concurs is that we employed about 10 CPAs who are still in office even now, right? Eight, yeah. So this whole period has accountants uh, who are supposed to be in good standing following up on the issues of uh, accounting. So that is one. Number two, there's also the glaring issue of uh, the promotions, I think, that um, caused these uh, um, issues of interdiction. It was also captured by the Auditor General, I think, in one of the reports. It is, it is a live matter in the Auditor General's uh, reports. But uh, suffice to say, the, all the officers who acted and not acted are actually in your front bench, one. Two, if they are not, if they are not in office uh, even now, they are somewhere in Nairobi. And so they should be able to come and account uh, in their period in office. Thank you. Uh, speaker, this, this, I, I had hoped that the assembly would have looked at these issues, the county assembly park, but from the look of things, it cannot provide a solution uh, because um, they are part of the landscape. Uh, I've looked at the financial statements. Today, we're supposed to look at financial statements for two financial years. The following year, I see it's been signed by a clerk and signed by Mr. Sami Ndana. And you confirmed that for 2021-2022, uh, the, the signature in those financial statements are yours. Sami, can you confirm? We were to deal with those two financial years. I see your signature in the 2022 alongside Edward O. Gishana. Edward Gishana, you can confirm that you certify I confirm. those accounts? I confirm. Sam Indana? So there's no, uh, be, on, be on record. So there's no, there's no contention on... Yes, sir, I confirm. You confirmed? Yes, sir. Okay. The only problem you have is 2020? 2020, 2020. 2021. Exactly. Where your ISPAC number was used to certify accounts while you are on interdiction. Exactly, Chair. Speaker, we will not uh, be able to get into the substance of this report if the foundation of the report is that uh, it was signed by someone who was not supposed to sign it, who has uh, testified, the circumstances under which he ended up signing. He made the mistake of purporting to sign financial statements without any written instructions. And um, uh, Moses, you'll find yourself in a lot of problems at some point. And for the financial year 2020-2021, we shall retreat as a committee, but we are likely to call for either a forensic audit or uh, an investigation on the utilization of the 1.3 billion that was allocated to the county assembly. There are issues of misuse of public funds, which the Auditor General talks about here. There are issues of uh, violation of laws and very, very many laws have been violated. The Public Audit Act, the Accountants uh, Act, the PFM, and so many others, including the Constitution, especially on these issues of misrepresentation. So we will ask ourselves whether we should do a forensic or we should just ask ESCC to come in and look at the files for that financial year. Because we cannot close it and say that those are bygones. That was money that could have done something else. And uh, we must also set an example for others. Like Senator Gataya says, and Senator Gataya has been in the county assemblies. Uh, perhaps he didn't say that. And he has been a member of the assembly service board where he was. And, and, and he also chaired the public accounts committee. I think, I think this is the most untidy uh, even Turkana was not this bad. It's true. Yeah, if Turkana, they were complaining about capacity. They were saying up there they lack capacity. But Nairobi cannot complain of capacity. So uh, for the professionals, we are going to refer you to ISPAC. And we are going to write a letter to ISPAC recommending your investigation and uh, for <coughs> disciplinary action to be taken. And Parliament has the power to do so. 
because ISPAC is established by an act of parliament. And therefore, parliament can recommend to ISPAC to investigate and take the necessary action on the basis of the issues raised by the Auditor General. Uh, speaker, you cannot have a di Director of Finance who does not know whether he's in good standing with ISPAC. It cannot be. Uh, but, but Director, you cannot, you cannot. When you hear you're coming to the Senate, go, go and pay your subscription that morning. Because we, we had a situation in Mombasa where we told someone to get their ISPAC number. They left the way that guy wanted to leave. They've never come back to date four years down the line. So we are adjourning and our decision on the financial year 2020-2021 is that um, the committee shall either recommend a forensic audit or an investigation be carried out but the committee shall also deal with the issues of professional negligence that have come up. But Speaker, uh, you came in the other day. Uh, the assembly seems to be stabilizing. Please, your legacy would be that you are the one who professionalized the assembly. Please professionalize the assembly. These officers, uh, I know, and I know they'll feel very embarrassed that they've come and we have, uh, we have reprimanded them. But we must say it as it is. And you must also tell them as it is. They have a professional responsibility. That is why you are paying them salaries. And that is why you got them from wherever they were. I am sure they were doing other jobs before they came to the assembly. Demand of them that which a professional is expected of. Please, guys, don't uh, look at yourselves as just running a county assembly. It is the Nairobi City County Assembly. So I will challenge you to work on building an institution as a chair of the board, clerk, as the accounting officer. You have a team that is not what that is not acting; it is substantive.
unless you tell us at the